Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the first five things you need to do after you do a fresh install of Manjaro Linux. So to get started, uh, since we're using Arch, we're going to be using Pac-Man as our main package manager. And with Pac-Man, we want to use the fastest mirrors available to us. So the first command we're going to go ahead and put into the terminal of Manjaro Linux is going to be Pac-Man mirrors and then double dash fast track. And what this will basically do is automatically select the fastest mirror available to us, uh, regardless of where we are. Um, and it'll automatically go ahead and do things like ping the servers, see the response time, all of that stuff. And it's a good idea to do this, I think, before you actually do the uh, pseudo Pac-Man SYYU, or in other words, upgrade and update uh, for Linux because this way your upgrades will go much faster and I seem to have forgotten the password that I put in. That's pretty lame. So in the terminal, I'm going to go ahead and run the sudo pacman mirrors command here. So let's type that in. Fast track. Okay. And if you haven't already put it in, you'll have to put your administrative password there in order for it to continue. Um, so this is going to ping different servers around the world and basically it'll figure out which one is going to give you the best response time and the fastest downloads automatically. So just let it run for a minute here. So after it's gone ahead and ranked your mirrors for you, you should be able to do a sudo pacman syyu command to upgrade Manjaro and update it uh, theoretically with the fastest servers available to you. So this should go a little faster than if you had not otherwise done that. So I'm going to do sudo pacman syyu, the s is capitalized, which is like install, upgrade, update. Okay, there, uh, sudo password. And this will take a second to go ahead and update the databases. Um, basically, just wait until it gives you a list of packages that it needs to install, like right here. And then we can just hit enter again and proceed with the installation. Um, if you're just installing Manjaro freshly, as you can see, it's a 122 megabyte download, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, and hopefully you get decent speeds on your uh, connection to the Pac-Man mirror. I would just say do that and then come back in another five minutes. <laughs> Okay, so while Brave finishes installing, I'm going to open a new tab in the terminal, since I believe Pac-Man should work fine while that's all taking care of itself. So the last thing we're going to want to do is to get out of Wine Dependency Hell. So if you don't already know what Wine is, uh, basically it allows you to run Windows games and Windows software on Linux, and there's a really good chance if you're going to be using Linux, you're going to be using Wine at some point. So installing all of these libraries on Manjaro is a good idea. Because sooner or later, you're probably going to need one or more of these. So I'm going to start by running pseudopacman s wine staging to get the latest version of wine. Uh, we don't need to do the dash sy because we've already updated Manjaro. So pseudopacman s and then wine staging. If I could put the password in, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Um, installing wine staging, as you can see, a lot of stuff already comes along with that. So we're going to hit yes. And while it's downloading and installing on our machine, I'm going to copy in this command as well. I recommend you get this command from the description. It's way too long to actually type in. Um, it's also going to be available on the original source for this getting out of wine dependency hell post, which I'll have a link to in the description if you need more information or if for some reason you're running on a different version of Linux. So yeah, we just need to go ahead and get this 
once wine staging has gone ahead and done updating, which should just be about 30 seconds now. Okay, so now finally we're going to copy this command in here. As you can see, a lot of this stuff probably actually got installed just from wine staging. But let's run this anyway and make sure we get everything we need. And about 46 megabytes more of packages to download. So we're going to go ahead and hit yes for this. Um, give it a couple more minutes and it should be updated. So what you get from all of these steps is one, you're running on the fastest Pac-Man mirror. So anything else you need to install should run uh, basically as fast as you can get it from your current location. We've updated Manjaro. We've installed a Arch user repository package manager, which we can use in conjunction with Pac-Man to get just about anything we want. We've installed a browser. In my case, my choice is Brave, but you could also grab Chromium or even just the standard Chrome. Uh, though if you like Firefox too, that's installed by default, so you don't might want to skip that step. And then finally, we've updated and installed all of the dependencies for Wine. So if we ever have a game or a software package that we want to run on Linux, even though it's not based on Linux, um, we can go ahead and easily do that from this point forward. So I've been Chris. I hope this video has helped you to get a little bit more set up with Manjaro out of the box and hopefully it reduces the amount of issues you have down the road. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.